But I enjoyed Chisholm in general just because the people and the teachers around. I mean, I've been helped by so many teachers and students when I've been lost or if I um, need any help at all. I'm involved in the Salatus program at Chisholm, which is this amazing, gifted and talented program that helps us better our skills and has many extracurricular activities on offer. The subject I've probably enjoyed learning the most is probably my uh, maths and humanities because I've really excelled in my maths with my maths teacher. Um, he's pushed me and I've gotten so far and actually moved up a level, which is great. So, I mean, six years ago or five years ago, we were, you know, getting interviewed. How are you feeling then? <laughs> um, I was incredibly nervous. Uh, I think it was my first big show, like in year seven, um, as an interview to represent my school. So, yeah, I definitely was nervous. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Well, I know I was like, my legs were shaking. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was stuttering. It was, you know, I was yeah. so nervous. Yeah. I was such a small kid as well. But yeah. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. <laughs> Um, so I noticed uh, in the interview in Year 7 you said that Stellatus was your favourite um, subject at the time. Obviously in Year 12 we don't offer Stellatus as a course, however I noticed you are studying ATAR, so how's that going for you? Oh, it's going pretty well, I'm enjoying it, you know, learning new things. I really like chemistry, um, my teacher's really good and sort of the subject is just really fun. I'm learning more about, you know, everything, the world around yeah. me. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> um, you said maths, how's that going? Um, I definitely still have a soft spot for maths. Yeah, um, I have always kind of been a natural at maths. I'm not in an ATAR subject um, as I am doing a certificate three um, through school. So okay. um, general was my option. However, I'm striving, I'm doing really well and I enjoy it. So I think that's all that matters. That's great. <laughs> um, what are you hoping to do after you graduate at Chisholm? Gosh, I mean, I'd love to get into the chemistry field, um, sort of study at university, uh, UWA. Yep. Um, and I don't particularly know what I want to do after that, but, yeah. you know, just see how I go. How about you? Um, I have recently just applied for Notre Dame Uni um, oh, yeah. to do a Bachelor of Behavioural Science and a Bachelor of Education Primary, mm -hmm. um, which is a double degree. And it's something that I have a passion for teaching. I love to learn and I would love to get people to understand how to learn in my way and, you know, finding what works for them and extending their knowledge as well because I think it's a really important skill to have, um, especially if you're struggling, like we will get through this together. Yeah. So I think, yeah, That's great. I have a passion for it. Awesome. Um, what are some of your favourite memories that you have had <laughs> in the last six years at Chisholm? <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, year 11 camp was amazing. I, we went to Bustleton yeah. and we were in dorms and just with our friends, you know, laughing, just going down to the beach. It yeah. was really fun. We went abseiling down a cliff. Wow. Um, at Willyabra. It was 36 feet. Oh my goodness. Just <laughs> looking down to the yeah. sea below. And it was just, you know, it was really fun. It was it was just a great experience. How about you? Um, mine was definitely year nine camp. Um, yeah. I think we were all very nervous to get on a bus and go <laughs> in a bush, you know, miles away, yeah. um, away from home. It was probably our first big getaway as a year group. Um, obviously we were split in half because of numbers, but it was still great to get time with our peers and just grow and understand what people are like outside, you know, the eight till three days. So um, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. And you know, memories like waking up um, during the night and turning <laughs> my torch on and there's a kangaroo shadow out the front, you know, it's something that you remember forever yeah. and I still talk about it today, so. so well, <laughs> like in year seven we were, probably up to here, yeah. but what would you say to your year seven self? I would definitely say um, just keep swimming, like life, you know, goes on and especially over these last six years, you just grow so much and you adapt to so much as well. Like we've, in 2020 and 2021, we had COVID, so you kind of learn to be resilient and just pack up your stuff and move to at home learning whenever. So um, yeah, definitely just say to my year seven self, don't blink or you'll definitely miss it. Um, yeah. Just if you get an opportunity, take it because, you know, these opportunities don't come every day and we're really lucky in this school that we get so many opportunities to, um, you know, extend our knowledge and be creative and whether it's in woodwork or it's up in foods, cooking, you know, you, you learn so much every day. So I just say take every opportunity you have, if it's a leadership role, if it's just doing something really creative in class, just take it on. What would you say to them as advice? Friends. Oh, great. Friends are the most important thing, I think, in terms of enjoying school. Like, yeah. um, you know, you're learning and you're trying hard, but you've got to 
make time for the social aspects and yeah. just relax outside of class. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs> I wish you all the best in yeah. your future um, with chemistry, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we hope to hope someday service Chisholm again. Yeah. And you with primary school teaching. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>